little spot called the Evan Thomas Provincial Recreational Area. It's also the main uh, Kananaskis village where people will come skiing. There's a little parking lot that's right in front of me here. It's the trailhead for Troll Falls. So that's where we're gonna go check out today. And there's an awesome view as you park here and behind me, you can see wonderful little view of the mountains here. So doing some research, I found that Troll Falls has two other waterfalls. There's an upper falls and then one that's called Marmot Falls. And I couldn't really find much information about where they are on the map. So we're gonna go and find these today. And anything that I can find, I'm gonna put this in the video and you guys will be able to see exactly where all the falls are. And let's go on a little hike. Peace out. The Stony Trailhead provides access to a diverse system of trails in the Evan Thomas area. The route under the hydroelectric lines parallels the Kananaskis River and Barrier Lake, all the way to Bull Valley Provincial Park near the Trans-Canada Highway. Troll Falls is a short, family-friendly trail that menders through Aspen Forest and concludes at a surprising waterfall. You can spot the troll in the rock formation. Troll Falls is often completed as an out-and-back trip, but can be combined with the Hay Meadow Trail, which starts at the northeast corner of this trailhead. I stop here just to show you guys. I hear a lot of ramblings about this online and I get it for people that do skiing. Before you go on any sort of hikes, if you see trails that are like this, don't walk on them. These are meant for cross country skiing and they're actually groomed. So check to make sure that you're not hiking or snowshoeing or walking or anything like that on the trails for this cross country skiing. You're not allowed to go. All you're doing is wrecking the trail and wrecking other people's activities in the winter time. So you see There's a little wooden teepee, teepee made out of the trees, kind of neat. It's actually on the map, so I don't know how long this has been here, but it's not very big. But yeah, very cool, very cool. As you walk along, there's another one on your right side, and then there's one on the left side. This one's significantly bigger, actually. So we're gonna go check out Troll Falls first, and then we're gonna head out to the Upper Falls. You don't have to go very far once you get to these Troll Falls to see these amazing opening here. It's kind of like a nice bowl and all the water flows right down and it looks pretty amazing. There's also a bunch of holes in the rocks where the water is kind of flowed through the canyon and it's flowing right through. And we're right beside the falls that are at the back over here. And there's this uh, huge overhang here, which I'm not really feeling too comfortable staying here. So I'm gonna walk ahead here. There you go, the gorgeous Troll Falls.
All of this here is just like a massive ice formation that took all winter to form. And you can tell that there's holes in the, behind these canyons here. And you can tell where the water's flowing. There's one over there that's melting slowly and it's actually flowing. And the other ones you can see over there, they're like actually frozen. Like that big one in behind me, it's frozen. And eventually you can tell there's a hole there. So eventually it's gonna start flowing again. And all here where I'm standing, it's gonna be flowing water. Give it probably another month or so. The awesome Troll Falls. And let's keep on going down the trail here, see if we can find the Upper Falls, see what that looks like. thought that I would have a hard time finding all three of the falls. These are very well marked and very well defined, just not the information that I was looking for online. But if you just keep following the trail upwards and upwards and upwards, and then you come across Marmot Falls. Gorgeous little spot as well with a massive column right over there. Also, it says help us protect rare plants because there's a bunch of species of rare plants in this area. This doesn't really apply to us right now. This is the awesome little Marmot Falls in behind me here. So I'm gonna go get down here to show you guys a little bit closer up. <sighs> Look at that. Pretty cool, guys. And you can even tell that it's starting to melt already. There's like little spots where it's open. And behind me down there, there's another set of waterfall, most likely that it keeps going down. But I'm not gonna get too close to the edge here because I'm not too familiar with the area. But we're gonna go check out in behind, see what that looks like. trickier to get to because you go up these little series of steps and the truck keeps going up but they're not as open so it's kind of like there's no good viewpoint for them but you can kind of walk around and this is kind of at the very end weird that there's so much ice here it's probably just a little creek because in behind me here you don't even see a distinct path of where there's a stream that should be going so it's maybe just a little tiny creek that just kind of weaves through here These massive columns sticking out, sticking down. And this whole area is like that. Comes down, it looks like way bigger than what it is. It's probably just a little, a little tiny creek that just comes down and forms these big honking chunks of ice.
I thought those ones I seen over there were the upper falls, but it seems like there's a little upper falls and then there's a bigger upper falls. So behind me here is the upper falls. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Upper Falls and Marmot Falls and Troll Falls here in Kananaskis country. I'm Eric Trombley. Hope you enjoyed the video. And these are my adventures. Peace out.